It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Dave and Natalie, thank you for coming in. I know you were very concerned on the phone that you wanted to come see me. So we're just going to start by talking individually to each one of you. So Dave, tell me what are your concerns? What are you seeing happening in the relationship? Yeah, I, you know, it's just every time I try to talk, it just seems like you never, ever, ever just get out with it. All you do is just stammer on and on. Natalie, you know, let, let Dave talk. He's not going to talk. He's just going to sit there. Natalie, you've got to give him his time to talk. I'm going to ask you second. Just give me 30 seconds to hear Dave for one, one minute here. 30 seconds. I'm setting a timer on my Apple Watch. Uh, Dave, sorry about that. It's, it's, it's okay. I, I just had a nice, quiet upbringing. And did you, just, how did your parents relate to each other? Well, they, you know, it's typical. They hated each other, but uh, you oh. know, it was really nice because it gave me a lot of time by myself in my room. And did you hear a lot of yelling and fighting between your mom and dad? Well, it was really the only time I ever heard their voices were when they were yelling at each other or then yelling at me to get out of the room so they could yell at each other some more. Mm -hmm. And what do you think is the problem with you and Natalie? Is yelling part of the relationship? Well, it's part of it. What are you trying to say? Sometimes I just want to have it be quieter. That's, that's all. Okay, Natalie, let, Dave, thank you. But let me jump over to Natalie because she really seems anxious to want to share her opinion here. You have two seconds left. Oh, well, let me jump ahead then. See, I'm giving you an extra two seconds, Natalie. So tell me what do you think is going on between you and Dave? What's, what's the problem in your relationship? Well, just look at him. He's just sitting there slumped over. He's always slumpy. Well, you kind of jumped on him when he was trying to say his side of the story. Did you see that or you didn't see that? See what? He wasn't talking. I don't have time to just sit here and stare at each other. I, I've, got a, I've got work to do. I've got, I've got projects to work on. I've got other people I need to see. Okay, so then let's jump right to the issue and let's not talk about Dave right now. I want your opinion on what you think is going on in the relationship. Well, I'll tell you exactly what's going on. He's not much fun. And all he does is he wants to sit there and that's all he wants to do. He never wants to go out or have people over. He just, it's almost like he's embarrassed for me to be around people. Okay, so what's your idea of fun? What are you suggesting that you guys do together? Well, I, I, you know, I, my thing is, is I really enjoy what I do for a living. I work a lot. Okay. Really? Well, he can't share that with you. What, what would you like to share with Dave? Have you recommended some things you two can do together? I like to eat. I would love to go out and eat more often. I don't know. It starts off with a meal and then it ends up, we go to a couple different Bob's big boys for all you can eat. And it's yeah, it's, it's not very much. romantic though, Dave. You know, maybe a more romantic restaurant. Natalie, let me get back to you. Tell me a little bit about the household you were growing up in. What was mom and dad like? Mom and dad were great, always so lively, animated. Everything was a big deal. And I feel like that is life. Like that's how life should be. Everything should be a big deal. So was there a lot of yelling then in your household? No yelling. What are you talking about? I don't remember any yelling ever. When you're talking right now, you don't think this is yelling? No. Look, I even took a quaalude before I got in here just to calm down a little bit. I'm not yelling at anybody. I feel like um, your le yelling is like blowing me out the door a little bit. So can we try like lessening the volume and the pace of your words? This is some communication skills that might help you and Dave to get through some of your issues. I don't think I have any issues, first off. I think all of the issues over on that side of the couch, because all he does is sit there. He doesn't do anything. Now, see, Natalie, this is what we call blaming behavior. We don't want to keep blaming our partner. We have to learn to take responsibility for the things that you want to change within yourself. He's just always sad. It's gross. Well, sad is because he's feeling the relationship's not working. Dave, you tell us, why do you come off sad? Well, we talked about how she works all the time. Uh, I, I'm worried about her health. Since we've been together, she's gained about 200 pounds. That is only because 
I work a very stressful job, very late at night, so I end up eating fast food. Natalie, do you think balance in life is something we can work on? Just eat with him when I'm with him because he's so boring. I need to excite myself. Well, what do you do for excitement, Natalie? Well, I like to I got, like to go thrift shopping. I, that doesn't really involve Dave. No, it, it does involve me. Basically, what my job is is to figure out how to fill the car with all of the things that we've bought. So you're the strategist, huh? And she's a shopper. He just has to like move it around. I, I have to figure out what's going to be important that we buy. Well, Natalie, are you attached to things? That sounds like a weakness. I'm not attached to anything. It's just I really like the stuff that I got. But do you have room for all that in your home? We've been looking at uh, buying a bigger house. Dave. I no longer can walk into my bathroom. So there's stuff all over the place? Stacks of magazines. But those magazines are important. I'm a little confused about the spare tires we have in our front yard. You never know when you're going to need spare tires. Natalie, it sounds like there's a couple of addictions going in here. I mean, between the hoarding and the eating and the spending for things you don't really want or need. I wouldn't have any of these issues if Helga was more available. Uh Uh-oh. And who is she? She's a, a, a friend. Heard of Helga? Who has a name like Helga? You know somebody named Helga? Dave doesn't know this friend. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Helga is my girlfriend. So you have a girlfriend. I had no idea. This is... When when were you gonna tell me? I love Helga. I think she's amazing and she's exciting. Everything about her is exciting. Well, what's exciting about her? She's an incredible lover. But on top of that, she rides this bitchin' motorcycle and it's amazing to be on the back of that. So does Dave think you're working? I I don't know. He's kind of dumb. I don't know. You keep telling me you are you have to go away for the weekend. Well, I do have to go away for the weekend. I'm not going to stay at home and ride motorcycles. Duh. So there's a lot going on. So now there's also the sexual addiction. There is one thing I Dave does that just drives me absolutely nuts, though. Okay, let's get it all out, Natalie. What else do you have for me? You know, he puts the toilet paper on the roll so that it doesn't come out the top, it comes out mm-hmm. the bottom. Do you know what I'm talking about with that? I do know what you're talking about. Does that really bother you, Natalie? Oh my God, it's so irritating. Oh, okay, now Dave, did you know that, that this was something that really upset Natalie? It does kind of get her goat. Yeah. Mm, so this is a passive aggressive move. I see, you know what, Natalie? I think you're right. I think this relationship's not gonna work.